And at the outset, I'm going to in invite Father Connachton um, to say a few words. Good afternoon, everybody. Eric, come on, do a bit better. How is everybody? Good? Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant. That's it. And can I just say on, on, on behalf of our committee here in Ballantour, we're delighted to be able to have another uh, Gooseberry Fair Day here in our village. And we want us to welcome everybody. It's a little bit quiet at the moment and people usually don't start moving at about one o'clock around this area. It's not right, Agnes. That's correct. And uh, can I just say that it's great to have everybody coming here today to our village. And you know, my friends, they always say about, about the Garrett Brook concerts. I can't understand it. Many people in Ireland can't understand it. Many people abroad can't understand it. Garrett Brooks can't understand it. My goodness me, five concerts should go ahead. And I can't understand how a half a million people are going to be let down. Because we've gone through so much of austerity here in Ireland over the last five and six years. And a half a million people decided to buy tickets. And they want to go out and have a good time. And they're denied a good out time. So look at you know, here we are in Ballantyre this afternoon and we're having our own little concert, our own little bit of fun and our own bit of music and it's wonderful to have all our musicians here today just to give us a little bit of entertainment and it's fantastic and we just say welcome to all people who have come to display their little bits and pieces here today and it's absolutely wonderful. Now can I just say that there's a man that very close to our hearts here today and it's Eugene O'Connor and Eugene's um, love is in this Gooseberry Fair. Eugene, uh, when we were planning it for last year, he was very instrumental in, 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 in getting this going. And he was so happy that we decided that we would do a second run of the Gooseberry Fair here on the 12th of July today. So, poor Eugene is in hospital. Our prayers and our good wishes from all our hearts sincerely go with him and go to him and his family. And please God that he will do well and, and that next year, if we do have another fair with Agnes, <laughs> that, 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 that this God will be a good help for it. So, look, at, we wish you to well and give me a little bullet box. And you know, folks, every year brings some kind of changes as well to communities all over Ireland. And you know, I suppose this little community is no exception either. So, I just want to say that those who passed on to the Lord in the last uh, year, since the 12th of July last year, uh, Joe McGowan and Patricia Willis and our latest John Clancy. So may they rest in peace. And again, our sincere sympathy to, to all of them. And also to, in other areas of our parish as well, we, we had Mary Beasley and Miles Bartley and Sarah Meehan and Jimmy Harkin, <coughs> Vincent Hannon, Margaret Hart, Paddy Kelly, Sheila Hamilton, Anna Cosgrove, Barry Sweeney and Kathleen McTiernan only last weekend. So may they all enjoy the, the eternal rest. And of course, you know, my friends, we, we have a sort of uh, uh, people that die, we also have good news. So the good news is that we have wonderful couples that got married here in our parish as well. So we had Anya and Kevin Blessing, and we had Diane and Ronan Healy, and we had Brendan and Fiona Byrne on yesterday. We had Eugene and Patricia Brady, we had Adrian and Lorraine Kilroy, we had Kevin and Natalie Broderick, and Sean and Michelle and Mara, and John and Natalie Connick. All of them got married since this time last year. So give them a little bit of box. And we had here, uh, since the 12th of July last year, we had 18 babies that were christened in this church since this time last year. So we have 18 new little lives. So well done, and we wish them well too. All right? Now, there's a little version that I came across, and I want to just read it to you. I think it's very funny, actually. And I want to dedicate this to Eugene today, all right? It says, I'm fine, thank you. There is nothing the matter with me. I'm as healthy as can be. I have out arthritis in both my knees, and when I talk, I talk with a wings. My pulse is weak and my blood is thin, but I'm awfully well with the shape I'm in. Arch supports I found for my feet, or I wouldn't be able to go on down the street. Sleep is denied me night after night, but every hour morning I find them all right. My memory is failing and my head's in a spin, but I'm awfully well for the shape I'm in. The moral is this, as my tale I am old, that for you and for me who are going over, it's better to say I'm fine with a grin 
than to let the folks know the shape that we're in. How can I know that my youth is not spent? Well, get up and go, as it got up and went. But I don't really mind when I think with a grin of all the grand places my get up has been. Old age is golden, I heard it said, but sometimes I wonder as I get into bed. With my ears in the drawer, and my own teeth in the cup, my eyes on the table until I wake up. Ere sleep overtakes me, I think to myself, is there anything else I could lay in down shell? When I was young, my slippers were red, I could kick my heels right over me head. Ah, when I get older, my slippers were blue, but still I could dance the whole night through. But now I am old and my slippers are black, I walk to the store and put my way back. I get up each day and dust off down wits, and pick up the paper and read down bits. If my name is still missing, I know I'm not dead, so I have a good breakfast and go back to bed. <laughs> you heard the uh, you heard the phrase, my folks, uh, about about he shot himself with the bush. You heard that, did you? Well, it's about the man not far away who was. I think it said, but I won't the correction, and it's a bit of fun. The man that was minding Mrs. Fox, and he, the fox came and he shot him down with the bush. <laughs> well done, Lord. <laughs> I'm still laughing at that. Anyway, uh, can I just say, look, without any further ado, look, this is going to be a great day. In the committee, our admin, we never charge people to come into this way, right? It's a fun day. And we do not allow any ticket sellers uh, selling tickets here today, and we're very happy about that. But what we have done today is that there are little moments around the place. There are certain charities that, please God, we would like to help out uh, today. And uh, if you give a little donation, all of that will go directly uh, to the charity. I think it's two or three charities who are helping today from, the, from people from kind donations. So that's all. We're not asking for any money for anything at all, hardly, except what people want to enjoy and spend. But like, it's just the little book that are on the place and can give uh, freely and to the bridge. I think the hospitals are for them. Jesse James, but he told me he's no outlaw, so that's brilliant, fantastic, right? Give, give them a bullet box, well done. Right? So, without any further ado, I, I would like to say, you know, there's been great things happening in our community over the past year. Um, you know, Joe Taft has been made uh, chairman of the county board, that's wonderful for Sligo and for Ballantower. And our new little uh, industry bar has been set up here too, and uh, more like the community. And he's got there's lots of positive things happening uh, in our community. So really enjoy this out day. It's a fun day, and have a good day. And now, without any further ado, I'd like to invite Joe Tab now to officially open our festival today. I'll be very fair and say a few words. Thank you very much, Madam President. Just on behalf, on my own behalf, I'd like to sincerely compliment the, the organising committee for organising this here last year. It was a wonderful, everyone was here last year, it was a wonderful occasion, and I'd like to compliment them as well for organising it again this year, and hopefully it will be an annual event. Because the way I see it is people of the old vintage, it's, it's reminded of the fact things just like more and more stone. Of what we what we grew up with. And um, and that's a great a great thing from back all memories and see how things go. But also for the young kids and the people going to school. It's still an insight into how life like there uh, what we bought years ago. So that's another thing for them as well. I can remember coming to theater here, you see the cat up the top of the daddy kids here of all some young but all the green bridge, out the condom table and out to the school but all and then four old. And the, the village would be full of cattle. And we were young guys coming in, it was a great, was a great day out, and we get the day off school, and then you'd be some family there, and the cattle got flowers, and you'd be 
So, great memories. And I remember as well, great things were in them days when we were in the on television, the art radio. So, things have come on a lot in the last 50 years. I remember going to school that for happy days. We up in the morning and we were in the college park.